In this demo, we're going to fire up our Hadoop cluster. But before we do that, we need to do a little bit of housekeeping on the daemons. We want to ensure that they all start on the right nodes. After we've completed that task, we will then test our HD init SH script. Let me begin by showing you something on Master01 that's important to know. Let's have a look at the etc init directory. You can see that during the yum package install, one of the things that it accomplished for us was it inserted the init scripts such as Hadoop HDFS name node and Hadoop MapReduce history server. It also did this for check config. It ensured that all of them started during boot up. We want to manage this up front and avoid creating a mess that will lead to troubleshooting. Let me show you how we'll do this. Let's begin by looking at a script for setting up check config. This admin script helps us in managing the Hadoop cluster by setting the check configs correctly. You can see that what we've done is simply listed all of them and then simply by checking which ones we want on and off. In this case, we want Hadoop HDFS name node to run on master01, whereas the secondary node will run on master02, and Hadoop yarn resource manager will run on master01, and finally the history server will run on master03. Let's run this script. And let's test. and exactly the configuration we're looking for. Let's test master02. And again, exactly the configuration we're looking for. Great. That's all working. Now, at this point in time, I want to make sure that I have a nice, clean start. So I'm going to completely shut everything down and restart it. We'll do that from the EC2 console. Here I've listed all our nodes, data 01 through 4, HD ops, and the master. And we don't need to restart HD ops. So let's go ahead, instant stop. There, they're all stopped. Now let's turn them all back on. Excellent. Now this was an important step because this ensures we know the state of all the daemons at this time. Now let us go back and exercise our HD init script. Let's start by having a look at it. This is an admin script to assist us in managing the Hadoop cluster. Its primary use is start and stop. I also can run clean logs from it, but we'll look at that later. Here's the usage statement. Here's a check on our action. Start, stop, restart, and clean. Here's the function for the master. Should look very similar. and we could come through this and turn things on and off as we require. Now again, this is one of those times you want to have a map showing where all the different daemons have been laid out. Here's the start stop for our data servers. And we'll come back and look at the clients later. Here's the main, and we use a case statement to initiate all this.
Here's our usage statement. And let's issue our first command. And this completes our task of ensuring that daemons are going to start on the right nodes. Let's move to the next video.